Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be having a look at a pretty difficult question of graph transformations or transforming functions. So if you wanna have a go at this question, feel free to pause the video and have a go and then stick through it with me and see how you do. But otherwise, I'm just gonna quickly show you where you can access more of these types of questions and more questions on this topic to help with your revision. So when you're on one of these videos, if you click into the description, you'll see that I've got everything listed within there. I've got hard questions to try, I've got checklists and practice papers that you can download, and other questions and other videos within this series. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of the description, you'll see down there, it says topics featured in this video. So in there, I'll put all the links with difficult questions and topic videos related to this topic right there for you to access. So just click onto one of those and it'll take you on to more practice questions and different versions of this topic. So, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. Now this is quite a tricky question, but we'll read through it and we'll see how we get on. So it says the curve C with equation y equals five plus two x minus x squared is transformed by, the trans by a translation to give the curve S. And you can actually see here that curve C has moved to the right. So you can see that the height hasn't changed as it's gone six and six on the y coordinate. So it hasn't gone up or down, it has just gone to the right. It says to give um, such that point 0.16 on C is mapped to the point 0.46. So we can see that on the diagram. And it wants us to find an equation for S, but we've been given an equation for C. So with this particular question, we've got to know our graph transformations pretty well. And we need to know what it means in terms of uh, like a, how we would write a graph transformation or a function transformation when a graph has moved to the right. So if a graph has been translated to the right, let's imagine that our original curve had the equation f of x or y equals f of x, okay, rather than the function we've been given, which is 5 plus 2x minus x squared. Now to move a graph to the right, that involves making a change inside the bracket next to x as we are affecting the x coordinate, we're translating it left or right. And hopefully you remember with a graph transformation, and again, if you're not sure on these, I'll link the full video in the description anyway for you to have a look at. But when we move to the right, that is a minus after the x. So we're gonna put x minus, and then the distance we've moved it. So x minus three. So in order to get to curve f, that would be our graph transformation if we were to write it as a function. So if y equals f of x, y equals f of x minus three, we would translate the graph three spaces to the right. So looking at this then, how are we gonna incorporate that into the equation? What all that this means, and this is thinking about functions, when we use functions, this just means rather than substituting a number in place of x, and obviously when you think about functions, you do things like f of two, and you substitute two in, or when you look at things like composite functions and you sub in x as well in between two functions. Well here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put x minus three in place of x. And we'll keep it in a bracket, otherwise it's gonna to start to look quite messy. So we're gonna take the original equation, which is y equals five plus two x minus x squared. And all we're gonna do is where there's an x, so there and there, we're just gonna put the bracket x minus three. And don't overcomplicate that, we literally are just swapping the x for the bracket x minus three, just like you would if you were substituting a number in. So if we do that, that would read as this, y equals five plus two, and then rather than the x, we're just putting the bracket x minus three, and then take away, and again, rather than the x, we put x minus three, and that x is being squared, so we keep the squared on the outside of the bracket. And there we go, that actually is an equation for s. And if the question didn't say anything else, we could actually just leave that as our answer. That would be absolutely fine as an answer.
But let's imagine, obviously, we're only doing this one question, let's imagine that it asks you to put your answer in a certain form. We could make that up, we could say, imagine it just said, write your answer in the form, and it said y equals, and let's just have a x minus b, and let's just say minus c squared, uh, cx squared. I probably wouldn't put those letters there because normally the a is in front of the x squared. But let's imagine the question said something like that. So we have to actually expand and simplify all of these pieces. Now if we do have to do that, we just need to be very careful, particularly when we've got these negatives involved. So if we go about expanding this, the 5 would stay the same, then we would add, and if we expand that bracket we get 2x, and then 2 times negative 3 is minus 6, and then we would have to expand this double bracket here. So we take away, and if we expand that double bracket, it'd be 2 lots of x minus 3, which you can write out, but x times x would give you x squared, x times negative 3 would give you negative 3x, we'd repeat that, so we'd have negative 6x, and then we would have negative 3 multiplied by negative 3, which would give us positive 9. And as well, of course, if you don't like expanding a double bracket like that, then do write out both brackets next to one another. So if we go about simplifying this, let's see what we get. Well, we have a 5, and you need to be very careful with that minus, we've got a 5 take away 9. So 5, and we're going to take away the 9, and we have the minus 6 just here as well. So 5 take away 6 on its own is minus 1. Take away another 9 would give us minus 10. So there's the numbers dealt with. Now let's have a look at the x's. So we have positive 2x here, and we have take away negative 6x. So positive 2x take away negative 6x would add 6x, so that's going to become 8x. So that would be positive or plus 8x. And in the final piece there, we've got the take away in front of the, back, in front of the bracket, so that is take away x squared. There we go. So there we go, that would be sort of our, our simplified uh, expression there. Obviously we need to write this as an actual equation. So our final equation would be y equals, and I'm going to reduce the amount of symbols here, so I'm going to start it with 8x, and then doesn't matter which one we minus now, so minus 10, minus x squared, and you could write any other variation of that um, in, in either order, it doesn't even matter if you put the minus x squared at the start, but there we go, there's just one way that you could write your answer. Obviously, if you were asked to do this, you'd write the pieces in the order that you'd been asked to, but we had not in this question, we are just discussing if you were asked that, how would you write your answer in a slightly different way. So there we go, I hope that was useful and helpful, it's quite a tricky question there. Uh, so if it was, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.